Hello and welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Forge 1.12.2 on Minecraft Java Edition. You cannot do this on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. That would be pretty cool, though. Now, to start off, you're going to want to go into your browser and search up Minecraft Forge. And then... Just click on the first one, and then scroll down here, click on 1.12. Right here, 1.12.2. Now, so these two don't really matter. You can install any one you want. Uh, I don't really, like, uh... I'll, and, uh, so, click installer on the one you think is the right one. I guess they're not really right or wrong, but just click on the installer. And it should bring you to this. Do not click anything on these, because sometimes they're uh, viruses and stuff. But just wait and click skip. Don't click on anything else. And it should start installing right here. But you're probably also going to look at this. And it's probably going to look like a different file to you. You're probably going to be like, what do you mean? How am I supposed to open that file? Well, you install Java. Okay, everyone. Now, to need this, you're going to need to download Java. Now, the link for this will be in the description. Now, this will be needed to open the .jar file. Now, since you have the .exe file, you probably already know how to install them. What you don't want to do is click on this here. And it's going to say... Do you want to allow, the, allow this app to make changes on your device? Just click yes. And it says, welcome to Java updated license terms. Which you're obviously going to click install. Sorry, I'm just using another display here. It's going to say, downloading installer. Just wait for it to download and everything. Now that it has uh, installed, well, maybe not installed, it's still installing. Now it should say you have successfully installed Java. You will be pr prompted when Java updates are available. I don't, I don't think you really need to update it. But now you'll be able to open this. It sh this is what it should look like. And all you do is just click on it. And this should pop up here. Now, I tried installing servers. I don't know if this works or not, but... We're just going to be uh, installing this, the client right now. Now, if you haven't already uh, put it on the folder that uh, is Minecraft. So, the Minecraft folder, obviously this is just uh, mine here. And if this doesn't say that, just try to find the Minecraft folder. Just click OK there. This is what it should be should look like now should say finish now and it should say this successfully installed client profile whatever for forge and stuff it doesn't really mean anything now you can install any mods you really want now 
Now it will be showing you how to do this. Now, when you're here, it's really big here. Type in percent app data and another percent. Should look like this. Click on enter and click on dot Minecraft. And you should find a mod sir mod folder here. Click on mods. No, these are all my mods. I don't know if you really want to link to them in the description. But this is what it should look like. Obviously, it's not going to have all the mods and might not have some of these uh, folders, but... I will now show you how to find some mods. Now, with this, you'll be able to install uh, the main furniture mod called Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Furniture mod. Downloads. And don't click on any of these. Click this one here. It's obviously going to be an older version. Don't click on any of this stuff here. Is he going to start installing? Yeah. Now, it might take a little while, depending on your internet. And also, I will say this. It was blocked because it might harm your device, but it won't. So just keep the file. So just put it right here. Close out of that. Keep it right here. And now, what you're going to want to do is open that mod folder you have. And you're going to want to drag it into the mod folder. There's nothing else you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. All you have to do is drag the dot .jar file. Now, also, there is another thing you have to install. In, <laughs> install. It's called Obfusicate. Now, obviously, I already have it in there, so I'm just going to click X. But, but I will also have that in the link in the description, too. Okay, now click on this one right here. Should say your download should begin in yeah. Click keep. And like always, drag it right into the same folder. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and bye.